Pluto's atmosphere just keeps getting more interesting. This is Pluto in a minute. So much of what we are seeing from New Horizons' encounter with Pluto is these amazing close-up images, but there is a lot of science that isn't visual, namely the science that happened on Pluto's far side with respect to the Earth. And one of these experiments involved a very interesting Earth occultation. As New Horizons flew behind Pluto, two different dishes within the Deep Space Network shot radio signals such that they intersected Pluto right as New Horizons was behind the planet. Those radio waves passed through Pluto's atmosphere on their way to New Horizons, and the way that they were bent, the way the frequency changed, would tell the spacecraft and the scientists running the mission a little bit about Pluto's atmospheric pressure. From Earth-based observations, scientists assumed that the pressure on Pluto's surface would be about 15 microbars. It turned out they were wrong, by quite a bit. The Rex occultation data says that the pressure at Pluto's surface is just 7 microbars. It could be that the atmosphere is kind of collapsing, that the gases that make up that atmosphere are freezing and falling to the surface. If this is what's happening, it's possible that the collapse of Pluto's atmosphere is imminent, or at least that most of the gas in the atmosphere will freeze and fall to the surface. There's more data on the New Horizons spacecraft from this same Earth occultation that will help scientists understand what they're seeing. But in the meantime, for more news on Pluto, be sure to check out the New Horizons websites, join the conversation online with the hashtag PlutoFlyby, and of course, keep coming back right here for more Pluto in a minute.